the Merchant Shipping Act 1958. Section. Short title and commencement. 2. Application of Act. 3. Definitions. Part 1 Preliminary. Part 2. National Shipping Board. From section number 4 to 6. Establishment and function of National Shipping Board and its power. Part 3 deals with general administration. From section number 7 to 11. DG Shipping, MMD, Surveyors, Radio Inspectors, Shipping Offices, Seamen's Employment Offices, Seamen's Welfare Officers. Part 4 is omitted. Part 5 deals with Registration of Indian Ships. From section number 20 to 24. Procedure for Registration. From section number 25 to 33. Certificate of Registry. From section number 34 to 54. Name of Ship. Section 55. Registry of Alterations, Registry Anew and Transfer of Registry. From section number 56 to 62. National Character and Flag. From section number 63 to 67. Miscellaneous. From section number 68 to 74. Part 6. Certificates of Officers. Masters, Mates, Engineers, Skippers, etc. From section number 75 to 87. Part 6a. Obligation of certain certificate holders to serve government or in Indian ships. From section number 87a to 87d. Part 7 Seamen and Apprentices. Classification of seamen, seafarer, maritime labor standards and prescription of minimum manning scale. From section number 88 to 88b. Shipping Masters. From section number 89 to 90. Apprenticeship to the Sea Service. From section number 91 to 94. Seamen's Employment Offices. From section number 95 to 97a. Engagement of Seamen. From section number 98 to 108. Employment of Young Persons. From section number 109 to 113. Engagement of Seamen by Masters of Ships Other than Indian Ships. From section number 114 to 117. Discharge of Seamen. From section number 118 to 124. Payment of Wages. From section number 125 to 134. Advance and allotment of wages. From section number 135 to 144. Mode of recovering wages. From section number 145 to 148. Power of courts to rescind contracts. Section number 149. Disputes between seamen and employers. From section number 150 to 151. Property of deceased seamen and apprentices. From section number 152 to 160. Distressed seamen. From section number 161 to 167. Provisions, health and accommodation. From section number 168 to 177a. Special provisions for the protection of seamen in respect of litigation. From section number 178 to 183. Provisions for the protection of seamen in respect of other matters. From section number 184 to 189. Provisions as to discipline. From section number 190 to 211. Official log. From section number 212 to 217. National Welfare Board of Seafarers. From section 218 to 218A. Part 8 deals with passenger ships. Survey of passenger ships. From section 219 to 232. Keeping order in passenger ships. From section 233 to 236. Special trade passenger ships and pilgrim ships. From section 237 to 282. Part 9. Safety. From section 283 to 283A. Construction of ships. From section 284. Prevention of collisions. From section 285 to 287. Life-saving appliances and fire appliances. From section 288 to 290. 
Installation of radio telegraphy, radio telephony and direction finders. From section 291 to 296. Signaling lamps. Section 297. Stability information. Section 298. Safety certificates, safety equipment certificates, safety radio certificates, exemption certificates, etc. From section 299 to 309A. Load lines. From section 310 to 315. Load line certificates. From section 316 to 320. Special provisions as to ships other than Indian ships. From section 321 to 329. Loading of timber. Section 330. Dangerous good and grain cargoes. From section 331 to 332. Subdivision load lines. From section 333. Unseaworthy ships. From section 334 to 335. Detention of unsafe ships by the central government. Section 336. Costs of detention and damages incidental the two. From section 337 to 344. Part 9A, nuclear ships. From section 344A to 344I. Part 9B, security of ships and port facilities. From section 344J to 344T. Part 10 deals with collisions, accidents at sea and liability. From section number 345 to 351. Part 10A deals with limitation of liability. From section number 352 to 352 FA. Part 10B deals with civil liability for oil pollution damage. From section number 352 G, 352 R. Part 10C deals with International Oil Pollution Compensation Fund. From section number 352 S, 352 ZA. Part 11 deals with navigation. From section number 353 to 356. Part 11A deals with prevention and containment of pollution of the CBY oil. From section number 356A to 356I. And provisions for containment of accidental pollution. From section number 356J to 356O. Part 11B deals with control of harmful anti-fouling systems of ships. From section number 356P to 356Y. Part 12 deals in investigations and inquiries. From section number 357 to 372. Marine Board. From section number 373 to 376. Miscellaneous provisions relating to cancellation and suspension of certificates. From section number 377 to 381. Rehearing of cases. Section number 382. Courts of survey. From section number 383 to 386. Scientific referees. Section number 387. Investigation into explosions on fire onboard ship. From section number 388 to 389. Part 13 deals with wreck and salvage wreck. From section number 390 to 414. Part 14 deals with control of Indian ships and ships engaged in coasting trade. From section number 405 to 414. Part 15 deals with sailing vessels. From section number 415 to 435. Part 15A deals with fishing boats. From section number for 35A to for 35X. Part 16 Penalties and Procedure. Penalties. From section number 436 to 448. Part 17 deals with miscellaneous like. Removal of difficulties. From section number 449 to for 60A. Part 18 deals with repeals and savings. Section for 61. Section 358, Shipping Casualties. A shipping casualty shall be deemed to occur when a. On or near the coasts of India, any ship is lost, abandoned, stranded or materially damaged. b. On or near the coasts of India, any ship causes loss or material damage to any other ship. c. Any loss of life ensues by reason of any casualty happening to or on board any ship. On or near the coasts of India. 
d. In any place, any such loss, abandonment, stranding, material damage or casualty as above mentioned occurs to or on board any Indian ship, and any competent witness thereof is found in India. e. Any Indian ship is lost or is supposed to have been lost, and any evidence is obtainable in India as to the circumstances under which she proceeded to see or was last heard of. Entries required to be made in official log books. The master of a ship for which an official log is required shall enter. a. Every conviction by a legal tribunal of a. Member of his crew and the punishment. Inflicted. b. Every offence committed by a member of his crew for which it is intended to prosecute or to enforce a forfeiture or exact a fine, together with such statement concerning the reading over of that entry and concerning the reply, if any, made to the charge as is by this act required. c. Every offence for which punishment is inflicted on board and the punishment inflicted. D. The report on the quality of work of each member of his crew, or a statement that the master declines to give an opinion thereon with statement of his reasons for so declining. E. Every case of illness, hurt or injury happening to a member of the crew with the nature thereof and the medical treatment adopted, if any. F. Every case of death happening on board and the cause thereof, together with such particulars as may be prescribed. G. Every birth happening on board, with the sex of the infant the names of the parents and such other particulars as may be prescribed. H. Every marriage faking place on board. With the names and ages of the parties. I.e. the name of every seaman or apprentice who ceases to be a member of the crew otherwise than by death, with the place, time, manner and cause thereof. J. The wages due to any seaman or apprentice who dies during the voyage and the gross amount of all deductions to be made therefrom. K. The money or other property taken over of any seaman or apprentice who dies during the voyage. L. Any other matter which is to be or may be prescribed for entry in the official log. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe this video among your friends and colleagues. Join our Telegram channel for latest maritime updates and exams preparations.